start recording. So for those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Courtney Gretza. Um, I am a double diamond. I've been in the business almost five years and it's been a long growing process of figuring out how to lead, how to be a good distributor, you know, like all the things. And I'm just so thankful for the business, for the person that I've become from it. Um, we've done so many things financially because of it, but I'm just really excited for the Zoom because I wanted to do a Zoom that I literally went into depth on every single thing I do every day and how it helps me to mass enroll every single month. But before I get into that, I wanna tell you a couple of things. One, these tasks are not magical in and of themselves. Okay, you can't pick and choose. You can't do two things out of the six, or I don't know how many are on the list. You can't do just a couple, and you can't do them just one day and then not the next, and then the next couple days, and then take a week off. You have to be consistent with it. Okay, so that's what I want to say is make sure if you're deciding today, put a one in the chat if you're like, this is going to be my month. I'm promoting, I'm getting back on the horse. We're making this month insane in a good way. Okay, so to make that happen, you need to decide today that you're going to be consistent and do all the things all the days, even though you don't feel like it, right? We all have those days where we're like, I don't want to do all this stuff, but we do want big paychecks, right? Anyone want a big paycheck? Like, hello, that's what we're here for. So commit to yourself today that you're not going to let yourself off the hook every single day. Okay. Commit to yourself that you're going to do the things that you say you're going to do because you want the end result. Okay. I cannot promise you success if you can't promise me consistency. Okay. If you promise me to be consistent for the next month, I promise you'll sign more distributors and customers than you've ever signed before. Promise. Okay. So we're going to go through every single part of my task list, what I do every single day. Okay. So the first thing that I want to talk about is posting. Put it to in the chat if you're like, I got posting down. I am a rock star. Okay. At five years in, I don't really feel like I'm a rock star. <laughs> I still have days where I'm like, what the heck do I post today? Let me go find another leader because I don't know what I'm going to post today. So I'm going to give you a couple basic tips and then a couple other like cheats. Okay. So first main thing that I want to say you want to post three times a day, every single day. Now, when I say every day throughout this whole Zoom, if you take a Sabbath, I don't mean that day, okay? That day's for God, that day's for you, that is not included. Every day other than those, okay? So you're gonna post three times a day, every single day. Once is about the business opportunity, once is about a product, once is about something random. If you need help of what specifically more different ideas on how to post in those three categories, there are some YouTube videos um, on my channel. And when I post this, I'll try to remember to link some in like the description box. Um, but they are in my YouTube channel that you can kind of go more into depth of posting. But once about the business, once about the products, once about something completely not at works related. Okay. A couple tips and tricks for that. One, leave at least two hours between your posts. Okay. It does you no good to post about the business at 901 and then the products at 906 and then something random at 908. Okay. That does not do anything for you. You're still getting your three posts up. Yes. But your posts are then competing with each other, which means guess what? No interaction on any of them, which is not what we want. Okay. So two hours between each post, at least. Last thing that I want to say about posting. Do not click the share button ever, 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 ever. Please, please, please do not ever click the share button. If you're brand new and you're like, but I love sharing stuff. Like I see stuff that I want to post. Great. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to take a screenshot of it and then you're going to post it as your random thing that day. Okay. It's not that the actual thing you're posting is be is killing your algorithm. It's the actual button that you're clicking share that tells Facebook, Hey, don't share that, okay? You're telling Facebook, hey, I don't have any original content. I'm not writing my own posts. So it's not anything people want to see. Now, there are a couple things that are kind of like, you can kind of skate by this rule. I saw it in the chat, the, the giveaway videos, okay? When people go live sharing the videos, yes. Okay, if you want to share an opportunity Facebook Live, that's okay. I'm saying don't share a meme that you saw, right? Those are the differences, okay? But here's one sheet that I wanna give you guys. If you don't have Telegram, 
I'm putting it in the, no, do not ever share anything. The actual share button other than specific videos, do not press share, okay? Um, this link I just put in the chat, it's a Telegram group. And if you're watching the recording on YouTube, this will be in the description box as well. Um, I feel like like a YouTuber, like a professional, it's like, check the description box for all the links. Um, but anyone, anyone watch YouTube that you know what I'm talking about? Um, so in the chat, I just put a link to a Telegram group that you can open it up and it has all different posts for you. So say tomorrow you're like, oh, I need to post, but like my brain is dead. I can't think of anything. You can open up that Telegram group and go look and say, okay, oh, here's a cleanse post. I can copy and paste that. Now, here's the thing. Copying and pasting is okay to a degree. And here's what I will say. You can go to my page. You can go to any top leaders page, any person's page. You can copy and paste their post. If, this is a big if, you change a couple words and a couple emojis. And ideally, use a different picture. And the last thing, it's been at least 24 hours since they posted that. Okay. Now, I'm not going to come at you hard and like, yell at you but if i post something at 904 and you post it at 905 guess what i will no longer get comments because facebook's like oh this is a duplicate post they don't matter they're not original so please wait at least 24 hours before copying and pasting cool yes put a two in or three in the chat if you under, understand change words change emojis try to use a different picture wait at least 24 hours awesome okay next thing I, is that, does anyone have questions about posting? Any other things they want me to touch on real quick? Okay, because we have a lot to get through. So I, I want to answer questions, but also like we'll get through them. Um, next thing, stories are so, so, so important, okay? I know showing your face on stories can be scary. I know it can be intimidating, especially when you look like a hot mess, especially when you're pregnant and you get acne all over your face for no freaking reason, okay? I get it because you're like, I look like the moon with craters all over my face. Okay. Like y'all, I get being nervous to go on your stories, but here's the thing. People need to see your face and connect with you. Okay. They need to see your emotion. They need to hear your voice. They need to see you using the products. Okay. What would catch your attention more? If you saw a picture on your stories of just like a cup of water or like a person holding a cup of water, right? You're going to see the person and being like, Oh, what's that? Because if you just see a cup or just something, you don't really pay attention because you don't connect to that person, right? And the other thing that I want to say about showing your face on stories, don't feel like you have to have your hair and makeup done and look like a gorgeous supermodel to go on your stories. Because if you always look like that, your followers are going to see you and be like, I could never be a distributor because I don't look like that, right? Put a four in the chat if you love following Jade Hooper because she's just a hot mess and totally herself. Right. Because you're like, if she can be successful, I can be successful. That's what you want your following to think of when they look at you. You don't want them to look at you and be like, well, if I was a gorgeous supermodel, I could make a lot of money from my phone too. Right. No, you have to be yourself because that's who people are going to connect with. Okay. So show your face, try to show your face every day, if not a couple of times a week. Okay. Next, when you're posting things in your story that are like about, the BOGO coffee or about the pick two or about the whatever, try to do a series of things that mesh together. Okay. So don't do like a green background keto coffee and then a pink background hair, skin, nails, and then a white background cleanse right back to back. Right. You want to have three to four of a certain look that all meshes together so that it plays really well together. So here is a telegram group. Yes, y'all, I told you I prepped for this, okay? Here's a link for a Telegram group that has stories already done for you. So again, if you're like, I don't know what to post on my stories, go to this group and you're gonna, you can copy and, or you can save those posts, put them up on your stories, okay? Um, at the end of this Zoom, just so you guys know, if you're on a computer, you can click the three dots and click save chat. So that you might wanna wait till the end to do that because there's gonna be a lot of scripts, a lot of things. Um, okay, cool. Any questions about stories? Cool. Okay. Next thing that we're going to talk about interacting. Okay. Interacting, I do not like doing. Okay. But here's the thing I can tell when I don't interact because my algorithm like just dies. Okay. 
the more you interact, the more your friends are going to interact with you because when you interact, Facebook's like, oh my God, they're real friends. And then Facebook shows them your posts. Have you ever noticed that when you send someone a happy birthday message, all of a sudden they like their posts are all over your page and then they like comment on your stuff and you're like, what just happened? Right? That's because you're telling Facebook, hey, we're real friends. And then Facebook's like, cool, here's each other's stuff. So interacting, figure out a system that makes sense to you. What you can do, you can go into your friends on Facebook, search a letter every day. Do A today, B tomorrow, C to the next day, whatever, okay? You can do that. You can go newest to oldest. You can print out your Facebook friends list and you, YouTube how to do that. I don't know how to explain it. Um, but just figure out a way for you to get through your friends list and interact with them, okay? And stick to that. When interacting, here's what you're going to do. You're going to leave genuine comments on their stuff. Four or more words, okay? Not just like cute, love it, nice, okay? It's going to be like, oh my God, your daughter looks adorable. Where were you guys? Oh my God, that food looks so good. What'd you make? right? Don't think too much into it. Think as if it was your best friend posting. What would you comment? Would you say love it? No, you'd be like, girlfriend, look at you. What the heck? Where, where was that? Like, what were you guys doing? Be a friend. Does that make sense? You need to interact every single day. I'm not going to give you a time limit or a number of friends, whatever you want to do. Okay. Just interact. The more you do it, the better it is. Great. Cool. Next thing I want to talk about, we're trying, I'm going to try to like get through the less talky things quick so I can spend more time into the things that need more attention. Okay. Next thing I want to talk about is self-development. Put a five in the chat. If you do self-development every day, every day, like legit every day, not like, oh yeah, I do it every day, but like I didn't yesterday or the last week, but I do it every day. Okay. Self-development is huge because here's the thing if you don't pour into yourself and you don't believe in yourself nothing's going to come from it and you're going to be like running on a hamster wheel and you're going to get really frustrated okay here's the thing try out different ways to figure out what feels good to your heart what feels good to your soul what feels good to your mind okay to some that's reading to some that's podcast to some that's journaling some, to some it's just like sitting and praying or meditating or whatever okay Try out different things. And if you don't know, like, I don't know how the heck to do self-development, reach out to your open and say, hey, Court this Courtney girl, she talked real fast. I don't know. She said to do self-development. What, like, what can I do? Your leader is there to walk you through that, to help you through it, okay? Because I remember when I started and they said, oh, do affirmations and read them to yourself in the mirror. And I'm like, what, what this witchcraft, like, what are we doing here? I was not about it. But when I decided to start doing it is when my business changed. Okay. So figure out which way works for you. Talk to your leader, figure it out and commit to doing it every single day. Okay, cool. Next thing I'm trying to make this really fast. So hopefully we can keep going. Okay. Next thing I want to talk about, and I'm not going to go super into detail here is just following up with people. Okay. If you only talk to the person the first time you talk to them, you're losing so many sales. Did you know that most people, you need to talk to them eight to 12 times to get them to order or join your team? Now, how many of you, and I'm not going to make you answer this because there are not going to be a lot of comments. How many of you say that you follow up with people eight to 12 times? Not a lot of people, right? Because you follow up with them once or twice and you're like, okay, well, they clearly hate me as a person. So I'm never going to talk to them again, right? Here's the thing, you never know what's going on in their life and not every single follow-up needs to be, hi, I'm placing an order right now. Would you like to order? No, it can be, hey, did that message come through? Oh my God, I saw your post today. Where was that shirt from? I loved it. Getting in their inbox and just talking to them. Okay, cool. Um, oh yes, yeah, sorry. There is a journaling Zoom Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Eastern. If you need help with personal development, that's a great place to start. Um, if Allison, I think you you probably have the ID memorized. Can you put it in the chat for me? Or, or Teresa, you can too. Cool. Cool. Okay. So the next thing I want to do, and I'm going to share my screen for this, you guys. I want to talk about growing your network. How many people here put a six in the chat if you have less than 3,000 Facebook friends right now? Less than 3,000. Okay. So. 
here's a thing that you guys probably it makes it'll make sense to you. The more friends you have, the more interaction you're going to have. The more interaction you have, the more customers and the more distributors you're going to get. So what I want to show you guys, how do I grow my network apart from post to post, which we're going to get to an awesome way is through friends of friends. Okay. So Ashley Fluger is a presidential on our team. We're going to pretend that I'm going to, she's just like a random friend do not do this through any other it works person. Okay. Do not do it with someone else that does network marketing. Don't do it with your upline, sideline, downline. No. Okay. No one that does any sort of sales. Okay. So you're going to go to their page. Oh, you can't do it with Ashley's because she has her friends hidden, which is smart. Okay. So we'll just pick this girl. Okay. So we're going to go to her page. Man, all these people have their friends hidden. Hold on. Let's find someone. Okay. So you're going to click. Here's what I do. I do see all friends. See this button up here that says suggestions. This means you have mutual friends with them. Okay. So you're going to scroll through. So I could click this girl and be like, Lindsay Ward. Okay, cool. This girl looks like she does some sort of business. So I'm not going to friend her. Madeline, Madeline. Okay. Normal person. She hasn't really been active since October. I'm not going to add her. So you can just go through. Cool. She posted Saturday. So I could send her a friend request. So that's an awesome way that you can just go through and add people. Okay. Another way is through groups. The only thing with that is be careful because some groups don't really like when you add people through groups. Okay. But the main way is through host posts, which we'll talk about in a second. And then friends of friends is what I recommend. Instagram. What I do, there are a couple ways. Hey, there's you, Alyssa. <laughs> um, you can go through the, the discover page. And what I do is I'll just click places. You can pick like a restaurant near you. Okay. We'll go to recent. Make sure you click recent. Click a person that looks about your age. Okay. Here. So then what I would do is I'd go to the likes and I would follow every single girl that liked this, this uh, picture. Okay. Up to about 50 or 60. So that's one way. The next way you can do is just scroll through until you find someone here. She has a hundred likes, go to the likes, same thing. That's someone you follow or see how um, it's, there's like a location tagged here. You can click that, go to recent, if it'll load, go to the likes. Okay. Always through the most recent picture, it's likes. The other thing you can do with locations, like if you know you're moving or you're going to Texas or wherever, like you can search those locations to do it through there. Does that make sense? Awesome. Okay. Next thing we're going to talk about is host to post. Okay. This is going to get very in depth. There's going to be a lot of scripts being shared, a lot of things happening. Okay. So hang tight. Hang with me because it might get a little much, but I promise I just want to give you guys every single piece of knowledge and everything that can help you be successful. Okay. So my favorite way to get host to post up is through something called a giveaway post, which I did today for this Zoom. Well, and for it's because it's new month. Okay. So here's one that I did. Please do not copy and paste this word for word within the next 24 hours. I'll be very mad at you because that'll make me not get comments. But here's an example, okay? What you want your giveaway post to do is tell them you're giving something away and ask them some sort of question. I'm gonna put another example in the chat that I did last month that worked really well. I switched it to our giveaway this month. If you're not on my team, just switch it to whatever your giveaway is, okay? So I just put it in the chat. So what you're gonna do, and I'm gonna, y'all, I'm, I'm gonna tell you again, this is going to get overwhelming because there's going to be a lot of things being said, okay? So you're gonna to scroll up to the top of your giveaway post. I got 99 comments, okay? So Allison, I'm gonna message, well, no, I won't, Never mind. Uh, so Cindy here, she put, she answered it. So I'm gonna just say messaging because she's my friend. So I'm gonna message her and I'm going to say, I have this, in a text replacement. Hi, I saw your comment on my post. It's really simple. All you have to do is throw up a post, throw a post up on your wall. I'll send you what to post and you'll be entered. Sound good. Okay. So I'm going to put that in the chat now. 
Okay. So that's how you go through and you're, that's how you like message your people. Okay. So what's going to happen is if she said yes, what would happen is I would say, where do I have it in here? Hopefully here. Thank you so, so much. Here's the post and don't worry. You don't have to tag me. I'll keep an eye on, uh, keep an eye on it. Please let me know when it's posted. Thanks again. Okay. So once she says it's posted, so what I do is my first post, I have them do a product post. So I'm putting in the chat right now what a product host to post looks like. Okay, please don't post Courtney unless your name is Courtney. Put it as your name, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. Once they post that, they say, okay, I posted it. Then we're gonna go back to Facebook and we're gonna act like this post right here is, um, well, let me cut here. This post right here is what she said that she posted for me. Okay. So what are you going to do? Do you see these? Let me see if it'll let me. Um, here we go. Do you see these three dots up here? Yes. Can you see like the red dot thing? Okay, cool. So you're going to click on that. You're going to click where it says, turn on notifications for this post. This makes it so that you get notified when people comment on it. Okay. Then, so you're going to do that, and then you're going to click the three dots again, and you're going to click save post. I already made a collection for my April host to post. If you didn't, what you're going to click is new collection. We're going to type this ABC, whatever, okay, created. So now it's saved to my ABC collection. So when you go back through and you want to check on your host to post, you're going to click these three lines back down here, and you're going to click saved right up here and down here you're going to see the collections okay so that's where they are so like here's one for, here's my april ones already okay so that is how i organize my host to post okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to i'm going to show you how i have an, a weight loss conversation okay so we're going to pretend did any anybody on my team comment on one of my posts recently we're going to um, okay so here's this is Allison she's on my team we're going to pretend that this is a giveaway or a, a product host to post okay so what i would do is i would like it i would go to her page and i would send her a friend request even though she's already my friend, so I can't actually send a friend request right now. But if I could, I would, okay? Then I'm gonna go back to where I liked the comment. And I'm gonna reply and I would say, I have it saved in here to give you guys. Because mine are all in boards. Um, I typically have 25 plus customers and like six plus distributors. My highest month, I think, was like 70 some customers and like 37 distributors or something like that. But um, the past couple of months have been rough from pregnancy, but on average, the past couple of months, that's what, what it's been. Um, so I would say this just in your front request so I can send you information. Once they accept, y'all, here's how I keep organized. Here's how I know what's going on. Once they accept, I'm going to press and hold on this like and I'm going to turn it into a love. So I know when I'm scrolling through my host to post, if I see the love, she accepted my friend request and I messaged her already. Okay, so for example, let's see if I can find some from March that have this um, here. So I liked it, I sent her a friend request, she didn't accept it yet. This girl did, she just messaged me. So I'm gonna go to like, or I switched it to love. Sherry, let's see, she didn't accept it yet. So it's it still says cancel request. So I'm gonna keep it at like after a day, if she hasn't accepted my friend request, I'm gonna send another comment and say, did you want info? The next day, if she didn't accept my friend request, I'm gonna go and cancel it. Put a zero in the chat if that makes sense. If you're following me so far. Okay, cool. So, we're going to say that Allison now accepted my friend request. Okay. So we're, we're friends. I'm going to send her a message. Why delete the friend request? Yeah. So you don't want to have too many outgoing friend requests. A, 
It'll block you from send more, sending more friend requests. And B, it's really not good for your algorithm because it's telling Facebook, hey, I'm trying to be friends with all these people and they don't want to be friends with me. So you want to delete your friend request after a couple of days. Um, so I will comment and say I sent you a friend request. A day later, I will ask, did you want information? A day later, I will cancel it. So about two days after I send the friend request is when I cancel it. Now, some days get behind and I don't do them, but approximately two days, okay? So we're gonna say Allison just accepted my friend request and I'm not gonna go message her because we have other things in the conversation, but we're gonna pretend. So I'm gonna message her and I'm gonna say this. Hey, just replying to your comment on our friend's post. So excited to help you with your goal. How many pounds were you aiming to lose? She's gonna reply with how much she wants to lose. And I'm gonna say this. I can copy it. This is my conversation for every single person, every single weight loss conversation without fail. Once she to say, well, I can definitely help you with that goal. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Do you exercise? How much water do you drink a day? Blah, 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 blah. Okay. It's all in the chat. When they answer all of those things, if you're brand new, send a screenshot to your upline and say, Hey, here are their answers. They want to lose 45 pounds. What would you recommend? But in most people's boards, and if you're on my team and you need a board with product descriptions, let me know. But then once I get those answers, I say, okay, thanks. That helps me to know what is best to, hold on. That helps me know what is best to help you see results with your lifestyle. I would definitely recommend my blank, okay? So what I would say is I would definitely recommend my fat burning coffee and calorie burners, which is my most common thing I recommend. And then I'll give a brief description of Skinny Brew and TFX. And then I end it with, does this sound like something you could use? Okay. Every, literally word for word, every single time does not change. Almost every person's going to say yes. And then I go straight into assuming they're going to order from me. Okay. So I say, this is my pricing script. Like I said, at the end of the Zoom, you can save the chat. Okay. So I say it's normally blank monthly, but with the 90 day promotion I have right now, it's only blank, which is my personal discount, blah, 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 blah. It's all in the chat. Okay. Then we go through with ordering. That's how to have a product conversation. Okay. Going back to host a post, right? So Jen posted this for me, right? So she did her first post two days later. I think I can stop the screen share for now, at least. I just can't look at the same thing for that long. It drives me nuts. Okay. After two days after she posted the first time. Okay. So if Jen posted the first time today, it's Thursday. On Saturday, I'm going to message her and say this. Let me find it. I have it saved here. And side note, dot, dot, dot. You can ask this whenever you want. I just do it two days later. Why are you not doing this too? Seriously, I just checked out your page and you would be amazing. You can do that the next day, right away, whatever. The key here is you want to ask every single person that posts for you if they're interested in joining your team. Because if you don't, you're leaving it out for them. And what if they desperately need this opportunity, right? You don't want to judge people and think, oh, she looks like she has money. She doesn't need this. Well, you don't know. You don't know if she needs it or not. So. Um, yeah. And side note, why are you not doing this too? Seriously? I just checked out your page and you would be amazing. Okay. Then are we put a, I don't know, put a one in the chat. If you're following me so far of how I work through my system of host to post. Cool. A couple days after that, about a week after their first post, I'm going to send them this message. Hey, how would you like a second entry into my giveaway? Put the post this and let me know when it's up. If you can use a color background and that's even better, hold on, that was Teresa's chat or T Teresa's script. So that's not the one I'm talking about, but that's okay. Um, hey, how would you like a second entry into my giveaway? Post this and let me know when it's up. If you can use a color background, that's even better. Make sure to message me when you post it so I can enter you again. Okay, so I send that. And then I send them a giveaway host to post. Okay, so this, why I do this is because it makes host to post a heck of a lot easier. So you don't constantly need to be messaging to get a post to posts, okay? So here's an example of a giveaway host to post. I just put it in the chat. 
Tell me what time it is when you see this for a chance to be entered into my friend Courtney's $1,400 drawing this month. Okay. So then we're kind of going to repeat the process. Okay. So we're going to act like this person that commented on, it was Jen that was posting. Jen posted about the time the giveaway was to post for me. Okay. Someone commented, I'm going to send them a friend request like I did with um, the giveaway host to posts or with the product host to post. And I'm going to say, um, just sent you a friend request so I can confirm your entry. Okay. Now, if you're close to your friends list, you don't need to send them a friend request. You can just message them. But 99% of you need more friends. So you're going to send them a friend request. Okay. Just sent you a friend request so I can confirm your entry. So you're going to like it. Right. Then they accept it. You're going to change it to love. So you know that they accepted it. When they accept it, you're going to say, Hi, I saw your comment on Blank's post. It's really simple. All you have to do is put up a post on your wall. I'll send you what to post and you'll be entered. Sound good. They'll say yes. You'll say, thank you so much. Here's the post and don't worry, you don't have to tag me. I'll keep an eye on it. Please let me know it's posted. Thanks again. Cycle starts over. You send them a product host to post. A couple of days later, you ask them to join your team. A couple of days later, you ask them to do a second entry. Put a two in the chat if you're like, okay, I get it. Like, we'll do the product one. We're, we'll do, we'll ask them to join our team. Do you guys see how this can be so seamless that it doesn't need to be hard, right? If you stick to this system, you don't need to go message a million times a day for host posts. Now, if you have a small network, we're going to talk about that in a second, how you can get host posts help if your giveaway posts don't get a ton of comments, okay? I send my friend requests right when they comment. Right when they comment, I say, um, I'll send their friend request and say, just sent you a friend request so I can confirm your entry. That's what I've done for the longest time. Now I'm basically maxed out. So I send them a message and I say, message you, check your request folder. But that's because I don't have room for more friends. But for most of you, you're just going to send the friend request right away. And this is how you're going to grow your network super fast, which will make eventually your giveaway posts blow up even faster. Are we following how this can just like all come together? Okay. So um, if your giveaway post, put a three in the chat. If you're like my giveaway post, get like 10 comments and that's it. Or like five comments. Like they are not going anywhere. For the longest, for a couple months, when I was starting the system, my giveaway posts, my personal ones didn't do much for me. Now, my giveaway post can pretty much last me my whole month, almost always. So if you cannot last off of your giveaway posts, here's what you can do. You can message for host to post, okay? So I'm going to put a couple messages in the chat. Here's one. Hold on, sorry, someone private messaged me. Okay. Now this is something you can do. You can just go through your friends list. You can go through who's active. You can go through whatever. Okay. Hey, I know this is random, but would you be willing to do a small favor? Blah, 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 blah. Here's another one. That is the same type of message. You can ask people, you guys. And so when they say yes to this, you'll go to the same thing. Thank you so much. You'll do a product post. Then you'll ask them to join your team. And then you'll ask them to do a second entry. Yes. Okay. Another thing you can do, if you're constantly doing stories, you're gonna have people viewing your stories, right? So here's a message you can send to people who view your stories. Okay, hey girl, I saw you watched my story, thank you. Would you mind doing me a really quick favor by making a post for me on your page? I'll send you the post, it would mean so much and I'll enter you into my drawing for $1,400 cash. Okay. So when you're following this host post system, like I said in the beginning, you might need to watch this a couple of times to grasp it in your head, okay? For it to be like, okay, I see this, we're gonna like, then we switch it to the love, we send friend requests, we do this, we do that. When you stick to this system and you decide to commit to it and you do it day in and day out, you will be talking to so many customers and potential customers every single day. And here's the thing, you guys, Say you get up 10 host to post a day, 10 product ones a day, right? We'll say you take a Sabbath. So by the end of the month, 
you'll have gotten up, you'll have asked 250 people to join your team by the end of the month. If you want to go Ruby, you can sign at least three, right? You can sign at least three. If you're asking 250 people, you can sign a lot more than three. Okay. But it just comes down to, are you willing to ask everyone? Are you willing to stick to this system? So what I do, Ruth, um, their first post is always product. Their second post, their second entry is giveaway. Then if they comment on other giveaway posts of mine or whatever, they comment again, then I'll have them do something about the business or something else. But first is always product. Second is always giveaway. Does that make sense? Okay. Does anybody have any questions about anything I said, anything that you want me to go over again? Because I really wanted this to be quick, that it's like a new distributor can watch this and be like, okay, I kind of get it, but it's not leaving any details off. Does anyone have anything else they want me to touch on? Um, what do you get for people that post for you all the time? Um, so I kind of just cycle through and give them the same post over and over again. And then if they keep commenting, I'm like, girlfriend, you can keep posting for me, but wouldn't you rather post for yourself and make money for yourself? That's what I do. And then if they post me like 30 times, like legitimately have people that post me five times a month, every month, I'll unfriend them, to be honest. Because at that point, if they don't want to join my team, their posts aren't getting any, any interaction. It's just pointless. It's just wasting my time. It's wasting theirs. Okay. Um, how do I keep track of all this? I, I cannot give you a specific way that works best for anyone. Um, I can show you, let me see if I can pull this up. Um, my, where is it? Planner that I made and I have it saved on a Google drive. I'll have to, I think I have it, but um, it'll be in the link of, or the description box of this video. I'll put the, my planner, but let's see here, can I make this bigger? Okay, let me share my screen really quick. So I can show you guys, this is, and you can do this in your computer, on, you can write this down, you can figure out a way that makes sense to you writing it down. Whatever works is fine just some sort of system that you can keep track of it, okay? So here is my planner that I made for myself, okay? So obviously on the right here are my tasks that I work on every day. Um, but right here on this left side, I write down my host of posts. And then I know after I ask them all to join my team, I'll make, make a check mark in this DT box. And after I message them to do a second entry, I make a check mark in my second entry. So if you want to use it, just like if you're a pen and paper person, if you want to write it in your notebook, write everyone down. And then you do like, you just write at the top, like distributor check, second entry check, whatever makes sense to you. I just recommend having it written somewhere because you're not going to keep it all in your head. You're not going to remember, okay, I asked April 2nd, if they wanted to join my team and I did April 1st, if they want to do a second entry, you're, you're smart, but that's a lot to happen in your brain. Okay, so figure out a way that you can write it down that it makes sense to you, that you know what your next step is. Because every single day, um, you can go back and know, okay, so here we're gonna, we got to check on our host post. We got to send for a new request, do all those things. We got to ask this group or this day of posters if they want to join my team. We have to ask this group of posters if they want to, um, what am I trying to say? If they want to do a second entry. So on my planner, what I do, yes, I have it. Um, let me find it in my Google Drive quick. Um, what I do is I write people down when they say yes to post. And I highlight them in my, in my planner on my iPad um, when they post. Because here is a message. Let me find this. But I wasn't, I didn't have it saved. But if they posted for me and I never, they never told me that they posted it. I will say, where is it? To find it. Hold on. Sorry, guys. Here. 
So when I'm going back through, if I never got a message saying, hey, yeah, I posted it, I'll message them this and obviously I switch the day. Hey girl, just wanted to see if you ever got that post made from the other day. I don't want to miss your entry into the giveaway. Happy Wednesday, by the way. I hope you have a great day. Um, so here is... This is my planner, I'm putting it in the chat right now. This is my planner with the tasks on it. And here is my planner without the tasks. Okay. I write down every potential that comments on host to posts. Once they accept my friend request. Once they accept my friend request and I send them a message, they're getting written down. If they don't accept my friend request, I don't write them down because I'm not gonna message them. Um, can I go back to Instagram again and show how I follow people? Yes. Let me get back to screen sharing. So, is it not gonna work? There we go. So you can go to places, right? So this is just a restaurant near my house. You'll click recent. You always click recent because you know that's active. You click a group or like a picture of someone that looks about your age group, looks like someone you would be friends with in real life. Okay. Go to their likes, follow every girl that liked it. Okay. Up to about 60. So it's that same type of thing. It's just different ways. So then you can also just go to your normal feed, right? And you'll just find. Some, like a picture, like everyone or follow everyone that liked it. You can go to a tagged location. Again, recent, recent, click picture. They don't have any likes and follow everyone that liked it. Does that make sense? Let me see if I can find the chat. Does that help? Cool. Any other questions? What's my follow up for PLC conversations? So, I have somewhat of a system in my head that works for me. I can tell you guys what it is. I don't have anything saved as like a text replacement. Um, but when it's the first message that I sent them, um, like when I message them, hey, I'm just replying to your comment on so-and-so's post. Do you have um, like, or how much weight did you want to lose? If they don't answer that, I say, hey, did that message come through? My messenger has been weird. My first one. If they didn't ans answer when I asked them the questions, I say, sorry if that's a ton of questions. I just want to know what products I can recommend that'll work best for you. Okay. If they didn't answer when I recommended products, I say, do those products sound like they would work for you or should I recommend something else? And then at the price, if they don't answer that, I'm like, does that price point work or does that sound good to you or should I recommend something on a different price point or something along those lines? And then if they were supposed to order and they didn't, I just say like, hey, I just sat down to get some orders in, is now a good time for you? Otherwise, I just follow up like I'm talking to them about their posts. Then it's like, hey, I just saw you posted about this. Like, where was that? Like, where did you go to eat? Or like, where was that picture taken? Or like, that shirt's so cute, where is it from? Um, so that's my follow-up system. And then I follow up when there are like sales too. Um, I don't do host post on Instagram. I tried. It was very hard for me to keep track of. And the stories don't count towards my team's, like, uh, like our team's giveaways. You, the stories that someone does doesn't count towards the giveaway. So if I do giveaways on Instagram, I have to like send them over to Facebook. And it was just like a headache for me. So I personally don't do host to post on Instagram. Um, I know some people do. It's just never been my thing. <laughs> but some people love it. It's just not my way to do it. Does anyone have any other questions? Does anyone put, uh... no, that's what I was just talking. If you saw the message, I was talking to Ashley Fluger about it, seeing if that's something I should try to do. And I might try to do it this month. I'll keep, I'll keep you updated if I do it, but um, put a, does, does anyone have questions? Just put like a three in the chat if you're like, 
I feel like I could do this. Like this makes a lot more sense to me. I can figure out my system. Um, okay, cool. I really wanted this to be like an all-inclusive, like basically my brain dumped out for you. <laughs> like, so that I was like, here's what I do and here's how I do it. Um, to save the chat, we're at the bottom where it's like the three dots, you're gonna click save chat. So like where you type, you click the little three dots and you click save chat. Cool. So I will end the recording.